Hi, in this series of videos, we're going to go through the process of writing a simple game. So we're going to take the crazy ball example that we did earlier and, and make it a little more fun and make it, make it like a game. So we'll start off with function start. Um, so the goal of the game that I'm trying to write is that we'll have this ball that's randomly moving to different spots on the screen and also changing between a few colors and you have to click it when it's green and if you click it when it's not green or you miss the ball then you lose points otherwise you get points. So uh, we don't have anything yet but the first thing we want to do is we want to create the ball. So we'll say first that the radius is 100. We'll declare a variable for the ball. And then what we want to do is I'll write a function called setup ball. Okay, so function setup ball. So what do we want to do to set up the ball? Well, we'll say ball equals new circle uh, with the radius. And then I want to start this off screen. That's just the way I want to write my program. So I'll say uh, off screen is negative 200. And so what I'll do is I'll set the position of the ball um, to off screen. And then I'll add the ball. And well, if I run this, at this point, nothing's nothing's going to happen. The ball is off screen. Um, if I comment this line out, we'll see that the ball is on screen. But we're going to leave it off screen for now. And what I want to do is similar to the crazy ball program. I want to every so often, I want the ball to move to a random spot. So I'll say that my delay is let's say 500 milliseconds for now and so what I want to do is I want to set a timer and I want to change the ball on that delay. So let's write a function to change the ball. Well what I want to do to change the ball is I just want to set the position. So what I want to do here though is I want to get the position of the ball so it's always on the screen. And so I'm going to separately compute the x and y value. So the x can go anywhere from, well, it has to be at least as big as the radius. So we'll say next int. And the minute could be is the ball's radius. So we'll say ball.getRadius. And the biggest it could be is get width minus ball.getRadius. If it's any bigger than that, then part of the ball will go off screen. So similarly for y, I want y to be equal to randomizer.nextInt from ball.getRadius to, well, get height minus ball.getRadius. Okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the position of the ball. So ball.setPosition x, y. So let's run this, and we see that the ball is moving to a random spot every 500 milliseconds, and it's always staying on screen. Great. Um, the next thing I want to do is change the color randomly. So one thing I can do is say ball.setColor to randomizer.nextColor. So this is what we did in the crazy ball program. But in our program, I only want the ball to be three colors. I only want it to be red, yellow, or green. So I'm going to change this program just a little bit. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to write another function that, that solves this problem. So I'm going to say change color. Okay, now let's go and write the change color function. So function change color. Well, what I want to do is I want to get pick one of three colors randomly. So what I'll do is generate an integer, you know, 0, 1, or 2. So that's my code, my color code. Randomizer.nextInt between 0 and 2. So either I'm going to get 0, 1, or 2. And based on the number that I get, I'm going to pick a color. So let's say if my color code was equal, equal to 0, then my color will be equal to color.red. Else, 
if my color code was equal equal to one, my color is equal to color dot yellow, and else, so the only other option is that we got a two, my color equals color dot green. So now I'll say ball dot set color to whatever color we've picked. And I'll run this program. And now we have a ball that's randomly changing positions and also changing between the colors green, red, and yellow. So this is the first part of our game, and we'll keep making it better in the next video.